Hi everybody, welcome to our lesson. Today's lesson is place value with base 10 blocks. In today's lesson, you will explore place value concepts with base 10 blocks. You'll read and write two and three digit numbers, and you'll build numbers with base 10 blocks. So for our lesson today, you will need a whiteboard marker and sock and a package of base 10 blocks. Make sure you have hundreds, tens, and ones in that bag. Thinking about base 10 blocks, we know that the hundreds looks like this and it's called a flat and it's worth one hundreds. The tens that we can build with base 10 blocks looks like this. We call it a long. It's worth 10. And we also have ones that look like this. But we can also call it a cube and it's worth one. If we draw that on our whiteboards, we can show a flat as a square like this. We can show a 10 as one straight line and we can show a one as a dot like that. What we're going to do now is practice writing numbers. So right now we have the number 352. If I look at this number, I look at the hundreds and I see that we have three hundreds. So in base 10 blocks, I can show that as one, two, three hundreds. In that number, I have five tens. I can show that as one, two, three, four, five tens like this. And how many ones do I have? I have two ones. So I'm going to write that like this. I want to make sure when I'm making my ones, they're big enough to see, but not too large. Then down here, I'm going to take those base 10 blocks that I drew and make them into numbers. So I have 100, 200, 300 is my number for those 300s. Right here I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 for my 10s, the so number 50. And for my 1s, I have 1, 2, 1s. So 352 can look like this in base 10 blocks, and it can also look like this in expanded notation when we break apart that number. Let's try a couple on your own. Get your whiteboard marker and sock ready. If you need your base 10 blocks, go ahead and use those too. All right, let's take a look at this number and let's read it together. 547. I want you on your whiteboard to draw the base 10 blocks for that number and then also write it in expanded notation. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check. All right, let's see how you did. So in 547, I have five hundreds, so I draw those five hundreds. Looking at the tens, I have four tens, so I draw those four tens. And I have seven ones, so I draw those seven ones. I look at those base 10 blocks and I give a value to them and I count them 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. The tens are 10, 20, 30, 40, and I have seven ones. So expanded notation is 500 plus 40 plus seven. Make sure you include those plus signs when you write expanded notation. Let's try another one. Let's read this number together, 34. Press pause to draw your base 10 blocks in expanded notation. Press play when you're ready to check with me. All right, let's see how you did with the number 34. 34 has three tens and four ones. If I write that in expanded notation, I have 30 plus four. There aren't any hundreds in this number, so I can leave that blank, and I don't need this plus here either. So it's simply 30 plus four for expanded notation. I want you to try this number. Let's read this number together. 304. This one's tricky. Give it a try. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check. All right, starting with the hundreds, I have three hundreds, so I drew those right here. Tens, I have zero tens, so there's nothing I can draw. And ones, I have four ones, so I drew those right here. If I write an expanded notation, I have 100, 200, 300 for my hundreds. No tens, so I wrote a zero and four ones. So expanded notation is 300 plus 0 plus 4. Another way to write expanded notation for this is just to simply write 300 plus 4. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take base 10 blocks that are already represented for us and write the number that it shows. If I look here and count these, I have 100, 200, 300, 400. And for my tens, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And for my ones, I have one, two, three. So expanded notation is 400 plus 60 plus three. 
If I put that all together, I get the number 463. And that's the standard form for that number. So these are all different ways to show this number 463 in a, in, with base 10 blocks and writing it in expanded notation. Let's have you try a couple on your own. I want you to draw this number on, or write this number in expanded notation on your whiteboard and also in standard form. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check with me. All right, this number in expanded form is 50 for these five tens and nine for these nine ones, so 50 plus nine, and that makes the number 59 expanded notation and standard form you to try this one. This one's a little tricky. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check with me. All right, writing this number with these base 10 blocks, I get 200 for the hundreds. How many tens do I have? I don't have any, so I'm going to write plus zero. And my ones are five and one is six. If I put this number together, I have to be careful. I still need to show those zero tens. So my number is 206 expanded form and standard form. That's our lesson for today. And if you need to use base 10 blocks for doing place value, make sure you use those tools. They're a great tool to use.